we are on our way to see what's it called? <laughs> the Conjuring. The Conjuring. It's supposed to be like the super scariest movie ever, is what people are saying <laughs> online practically. One of the best scary movies of the last decade. It's yeah. a new James Wan who directed Insidious. Yes. It's his new film and it's based on supposedly true events that happened to the Ooh. Perron family, the Perron family yeah. in the 1970s. So it's supposed to be really great. Yeah, and the trailers look extremely Very scary. scary. <laughs> so we are taking an afternoon to go and see it, and we'll let you guys know what we think. Bye. Bye. All right, well, we just got back from the movie theater. We saw The Conjuring today. Uh, <laughs> it was super scary. It was very scary. What would you say your thoughts were about it? Um, I really liked it because I love being scared, but I don't love being grossed out. I don't like the crunching and the nasty noises. So this movie was really good because I was terrified, but I didn't have to worry about being like sick to my stomach or... Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I was no, actually I... like legitimately scared, not just really grossed out. There's a difference. Yeah, it was very scary, very suspenseful. Uh, it had like good suspense yeah. in between the, the jump out and scare you parts. And, and there was it, a good story. There was a nice story yeah, tying everything story. together. You now, if you've seen the film, you'll maybe know a little more about this, but I thought that the doll connection was a little odd. I don't know if there's a doll in the film that reappears a number of times and it seems to connect uh, more than one like paranormal haunting or case, but. I'd be curious if in the real, the quote-unquote real account of the events, if there was a doll if involved at all. <laughs> There's a scene connected to the doll towards the end that I wonder if that was really true, or if that was just a way to make the story more intense. Uh, that's my guess. Hollywood yeah. magic on a true event. The child actors were terrific, Yeah, I they thought. were spot on. It was very great. And it stars, one of the stars, Lily Taylor, who I just love. I think she's amazing. She did a really good she job said, in the film, she's too. so good. She was yeah. very much, she played the perfect kind of she mom character. So she was not only a good mom, but... She was good for this role in yeah, general. She was perfect for I love it, her, really. So, yeah. um, Unbiased opinion. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. And I, I'm a horror film buff. I, I love all manner of scary movies. I like the slashers. I like the paranormal ones. I like the uh, shaky camera, found footage style. So this, I mean, this was a, kind of a nice break, I think, from the trend I know there have been a lot of paranormal or yeah. haunting slash possession movies recently. But, but this one did feel different. It did feel different. Yeah, the story was, it felt more honest. It was less contrived. It uh, didn't do any shaky camera business. So that was kind of a refreshing break from what seems to be really common. I kind of feel like a throwback to the old classic horror movies. The, good, the good ones. Yeah, definitely. Good ones. I think oftentimes like, you can't tell if a movie is being filmed on a soundstage or it's being filmed in an actual house, but this one felt like it was in a real house and the way they framed the shots felt like you were really in the space with the characters, so I thought that was kind of interesting. It was really good at drawing you in. Out of five stars for the horror movie category. Okay. What would five be like to compare it? Uh, you'd have to go with the classic, I guess. Like, The Exorcist would be a five, or... I think I'd give it like a four and a half. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. I mean, it, it's obviously not perfect. No, well, Usually, nothing is. I mean, nothing is, but scary movies definitely seem to... Even if they're legitimately scary and seem well done, there's almost always a point or two where you're like, eh, what is this? Right. And I found those were very rare in this movie, so I would... I would also give it a four out of five, four point five out of five. Yeah. In the horror movie category, and then in regular movie, like just in comparison to film in general, I would maybe give it a, four, a solid four. Yeah, I agree. Because the acting was great. The story was good. The script was good, mm -hmm. and the cinematography was. The directing really was good. good. So I thought, yeah, all in all, I'm I'm not sad that we spent money going to see it. Like it was totally worth the money. The theater, yes, price definitely to go worth and see the theater it. price. So, yeah. Go see The Conjuring! Yeah!